Georgetown University, the nation's oldest Catholic university, has been around almost as long as the country itself. The school's history includes a period in which it owned slaves. Now Georgetown students have voted to pay money to the descendants of those slaves, what is called reparations. Chip Reed has more. Georgetown University currently has an endowment of $1.5 billion, but in 1838 it was nearly broke, so the Jesuit priest who ran the school sold 272 slaves, including Frank Campbell, to pay off its debts. Georgetown students voted 66 to 34 percent in favor of a new fee of $27.20 per semester, money that would benefit descendants of those 272 slaves. We've all benefited from the sales of these slaves previously, and I think that we have a duty now to show our responsibility in the fact that we did benefit from them. Freshman Henry Dye helped lead the opposition to the referendum. You say it's a slap in the face at liberty. Yes. What do you mean by yes. that? I believe in the importance of individual liberty, but I don't believe we should morally impose our values on other students. Whether the fee is implemented is now up to the university, which said in a statement, our students are contributing to an important national conversation. It has become a national conversation on the presidential campaign trail for some Democrats, including New Jersey Senator Cory Booker. I support reparations. Some of the Georgetown students who helped organize the referendum say winning the vote is just the first step. Georgetown uh, junior uh, Shepard Thomas issues. is a descendant of the slaves who were sold. And as we go forward, our initiative will be to challenge the university to do something. In its written statement, Georgetown said, quote, this student referendum provides valuable insight into student perspectives, but it gave no indication as to whether it plans to give the students what they're demanding. Jeff? All right, Chip Reed at Georgetown tonight. Chip, thank you.